I guess because I had a date on the first, they sent it to my previous address and it got rerouted and it was scheduled for the 21st today. And I, I seen that through the mail. I never got any notice or anything. Once I looked at the mail to my old home, I seen the uh, date that I missed on the first and another one for the 21st. Mr. Green, you've been missing court dates for the longest. I'm not even sure how I have a charge. You're Juno Lee Edward. Correct. City of Detroit versus Juno Lee Edward Green, case number SP 105 78791, SP 115 68271, SP 1169 121, counts one and counts two, SP 119 4914, counts one, two, and three, SP 124492. Three counts one and counts two. SP one two four four nine two eight counts one, two, and three. SP one three two two. I'm sorry. Are those all my counts? Still going. SP one three two two four zero two counts one, two, and three. SP one. Hold on a second, sir. Oh, no. SP one three two three nine nine two one. SP one four one one seven four two counts one two and three. SP eight two four two two three one. SP nine eight four nine six zero counts one two and three. Z eight. Zero nine zero nine zero one state of Michigan versus Juna at Lee Edward Green case number SX two three nine nine one three six counts one and counts two appearance for the record, please. Yes, I'm here as Juna Lee Edward Green. Elwood S. Barry Jr. on behalf of the defendant, Your Honor, for purposes of arraignment. We my client would stand mute. It's clearly something going on here. He, he, doesn't even, he, doesn't, he doesn't even realize why he's here. From what I heard, Officer Poole, not Officer Santiago, had her lights on. I was going to my home and she All right, so I don't want to hear I don't want to hear anymore, sir. Because that's yeah. that's for that's for another date. This is not the time for that. But he just indicated that he didn't have a clue why he was here. Yes, sir. Didn't even know I had a court date. So you didn't know that you have all of these tickets in your name. Never knew that. No, well, I received court dates for previous for the previous tickets. I'm just talking about. I don't want. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear it. Mr. Once Green. you moved, sir, my home was on fire. My home, I just got into this home on the date of the offense. It's my ninth day in this home. I was homeless for five months. For no reason. $500 personal bond. Going to be testing once a week. For what? Uh, alcohol. They can't charge me with that. They're trying to say I was out with open intox. I was never even out with open intox. The only reason I even got no, to that no, level no, no, is because stop. I was in my home. I'm going to ask you to stop. Oh, okay. I'm going to put you in the breakout room with Mr. Barry. You have a discussion with him. We'll talk about the bond conditions when he gets out. The bond? Okay. Join the room, please. Go back on the record with Mr. Green. Mr. Barry, what's going on with Mr. What's going on with Mr. Green? Uh, we seek a, a, a trial date, Your Honor. Mr. Green will uh, hire his own counsel. All right, that's what you want to do, sir. Yes, sir. I already have them investigating the matter. All right, so let's do. Let's talk about the bond conditions. I need a good phone number from you, sir. I'm going to have you testing one time per week. I have you no leaving the state without the court's permission, and no drinking during the pendency of this case. Today is. Um, the is court on next week for probation and stuff? No, we don't need to cover. 
Let's get probation in here now. Okay. Um, we only here on the 27th and 28th. I don't know. Let's get them in here now. Um, uh, uh, Juno, Lee, Edward Green. Juno, Lee, Edward Green. What is the probation for? So that they can um, uh, super, so they can assist in you testing and, and, and make sure that you're testing uh, or at least give you the information. I'm not an alcoholic. They caught me with my breath, but just cleaning okay, out my. Okay, listen, RV. sir. Listen, I don't. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say you were an alcoholic. Oh, yeah. It's a procedure, right? When I see this charge every day, you know, it's a procedure. Right? When I see this charge, everybody's got to go through the same procedure. I didn't say that you were guilty or anything. Yes, sir. But do the arresting officer have to go through this? But to go through drinking, they didn't charge. They, they didn't say he was drinking and driving. So how am I being charged? Because I was in my home when they put me in the standoff. The only reason I even that's drunk a, my liquor is because they had the standoff that's outside why, my that, home. So how can they carry said, me outside my home and charge me with being too drunk when I could just be in my home sleep? That's why. And this said all stems from a complaint. All right. See, so you're talking too much. All right. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, I need a little assistance to get to my defense attorney. Um, I was calling because the, okay. tomorrow is not a good day for me to go to week treatment and I have to catch the bus. And I don't even know how to get around on the west side yet, let alone how to get there. So I'm going to try to figure this out. But this date is not good due to my twin doctor's appointment tomorrow and I have to get them to the east side. And I don't even know where to start. Let's go back on the record with Mr. Green. Um, uh, Ms. O'Driscoll, go ahead and put your appearance on the record, please. Jennifer O'Driscoll on behalf of the probation department. Okay. I did right. speak with the defendant regarding the testing at ATS. Um, I did tell him that he would need to report tomorrow which is December 22nd, uh, 2023. He could report in the evening at seven from 7 to 8 o'clock to do his enrollment and begin his testing. Well, I, I don't, I don't know my Hold way on a second. Wait a minute, please. And Mr. Green, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, this is, that's the last time I'm going to have you interrupt and over talk. When I ask you to speak, I'm going to give you an opportunity to speak and I'm going to listen to you. But I'm going to, everybody's going to be orderly in here. All right. Now, let me ask you this, Ms. O'Driscoll. Uh, Officer O'Driscoll, is that 7 to 8 p.m.? He can check in from 7 to 8 p.m. On that, on that day or it just opens, it's open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Well, let me oh, get on the he, they are open in the morning from um, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., but I understand that um, the defendant needs to take his, his children to the doctors in the morning. But then they close during the daytime and they reopen back up again from 7 p.m. They're, they're open till 8.30 p.m., but he would need to be there by 8 o'clock p.m. in order to complete the intake process. Okay. Mr. Mr. Green, go ahead. I, on Ohio Street, no Wyoming bus run. I don't know my way to even get around left and right because I just moved to the west side. So I wouldn't even know how to begin to start, let, a night, let alone at night in a dangerous neighborhood, trying to find my way somewhere. I'm, I'm completely threw up by the charges. I'm distraught. And this is not helping me with justice at all. These charges are all fabricated. Okay, Mr. Green, let me say this. Have you have you lived in the city of Detroit all your life? Correct. Never on the west side. I didn't ask you that. You lived in the city of Detroit all your life. Correct. And you're going to sit and tell the court that you don't know how to get anywhere on the west side? Well, when I got out of jail, I had to ask somebody to actually drop me off because I didn't know where I was. Uh, let me let me just get this correct. Let me turn turn your camera on, please. Because I, I I want you to I want to see you. Take your hat off, please. 
I want to see it in the. You're you're just stop stop moving, please, please. You're telling me how how old are you? Thirty six. You're thirty six years old. You're born and raised in the city of Detroit, and you're telling the court that you don't know how to get around on the west side. Correct. Never did have to live over here. I was born on the east side all my life, and I stayed out of state a few years prior in my life. I never really liked Detroit as long as lived here. This was just where I was forced to be. I'm not. I'm not buying that. Well, I have. I have addresses in Cadillac, Michigan. I have addresses in Louisiana. I have I wish addresses you in California. Would stand still. It's hard when you're, when you're stressed out. I mean, I, I, I'm used to having charges that actually apply to me. This is unjust. That's why. That's why we're giving you. That's why we're giving your opportunity to be heard. That's why we're giving your opportunity to be heard. You, you're going to very well be able to make. You're going to very well be able to make that defense. Now, you you, you mentioned that you, you're going to hire a lawyer. Do you already have a lawyer? Yes, Sean McCartney, he's going to get all of this stuff and go at them to, for police brutality because my spine is injured. Now, you need to get on Sean McCartney on the line now because I need to have testing this week. And you're and I'm not I'm not buying the fact that you can't get there by eight o'clock tomorrow. How can you not? And I don't know where I'm going, sir. I mean, I could call him on my phone. Listen, yes, 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 sir. You can figure it out. How can I call you're, you're, 36, you're 36 years old. You, you're a grown man. You've been oh, living with the injured sound, spine sound very, or disability. Very My spine is injured. I can okay, barely you move. Very, you're, you're moving around pretty good on the camera. Because my back is hurting. I can't sit down and stand up due to my injury too long. My spine is ruptured in three places, which your cops right. actually help do. Not my cops. Not my cops. So listen, I'm not gonna. I want you testing tomorrow, and 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 you're gonna have to figure it out. You can get all the way to Cadillac, Michigan. You can get all the way. Where, where else? Whole did you, different where story. else did you stay out of state? Where else did you stay out of state? That took money, time, and transferred, and they actually paid for me to come out there. I'm on disability. I'm, I'm saying I don't you got make out all there. that stuff. So I'm. You expect me to walk tomorrow because I don't have no money. No. I don't, I don't have can, a dollar there, to my name. Is, can you get down to the courthouse today and test in the courthouse? Or are you going to tell me you side. can't get downtown? I'm on the west side on Ohio. Right. It's right, I'm done. I'm done. The, case, the, the trial date is you, can, you, you do, you make your own decisions and you do what you do. I'm going to do my job. The trial date is, is April the 29th, 2024 at 9 a.m. Tomorrow, you need to have the testing done. By eight, uh, you, Ms. O'Driscoll said you need to get to the testing spot by eight o'clock p.m. so you can make sure you get the, the intake done. I, I want to see a test be, uh, from tomorrow and then every week after that. Okay. And once they're all clean, do I get just cause? Because this is all. If they're all clean, I, I don't drink. If they're all clean, then when you come back. You get your lawyer, you can come back in here and he can bring you back before the court and I will definitely consider if you got all clean tests, I will definitely consider uh, 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 maybe uh, either uh, re reducing the time of testing or or not having you test all together. Definitely. Okay, thank you, Your Honor, because I just have to beat you guys. That's the only way. It's me against the world. Now, I feel. Don't, don't, don't put me in it. Cause I didn't, I didn't give you the ticket, and I'm, I'm just here doing what I do in my job. All right. Understandable. Have a safe, happy holiday season, sir. Best of luck to you. Thank you.